Taylor here with Boogie Lights. Today we're going to be taking a look at this custom food trailer installation we did for our friends at the Bearded Swine, which is a barbecue company located out of southern Indiana. They brought it to us here at the Boogie HQ in Florence, Kentucky to get some LED lighting put on it to really make it pop with this awesome custom paint job that they've had done. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with the top of the rig. It has a total of 15 feet of Boogie Lights on both sides of the trailer. Uh, and that is on one controller known as our dual zone controller with the bottom, which has a total, the underglow has a total of 21 feet. That is broken down into three separate strips. Each of those are seven feet. You have a uh, strip going along the side, but behind the tongue and the first axle, and then a seven foot strip across the rear. And then the same thing is another seven foot strip across the front underneath the uh, tongue and axle. Uh, and those are on that dual zone controller that I mentioned. That allows them to operate uh, each zone independently or together. So right now we have zone one, which is their uh, top, that is on green, and zone two, which is their underglow on orange, or on a yellowish, uh, because that is their custom colors here for the grindage wagon, as it's called. Um, but now we'll move to the windows here. The windows have uh, six feet a piece in each of them with a six foot strip there. Uh, and they are actually mounted in an aluminum channel with an opaque diffuser over top of them. Uh, as you can see there, you don't really get that bright, glowing, blinding light. You get a nice, finished, um, straight line kind of look for our commercial customers. Because these lights can be quite blinding if you're looking straight at them. So we like to put them in this aluminum uh, channel with that diffuser over to give it that nice, finished look. To kind of polish everything off. The windows are on their own controller. So when you turn them on, they always come on to a bright white, which we can assume that is what most of them will be at. It will give them plenty of light to serve their customers. So this customer wanted their windows on one and then the top and the underglow on a separate controller module. Uh, and then each one of those windows also have their own push button, which we'll go inside and take a look at here, that allows them to shut off each one of these windows, these serving windows, independently. Uh, so say that they're just serving out of the front here, they can shut off the left and the right side uh, that way customers don't walk over to that side and they can already see that it's dark on those sides. All right, now if you follow me to the inside of the trailer, we will show you exactly how we did our wiring for each one of these windows, for the bottom, for the top as well. We will start with the underglow. So all the wires that are underneath are actually running to the rear of the trailer and then they are coming up through the bottom and then through these cabinets. Uh, and that's where you'll see the wiring come up right there, which goes up to where our controller modules are mounted. Uh, if you look down in here, you can actually see where we ran each one of those wires. So we had to drill through each one of these um, shelves here all the way down to the bottom. And each one of those are wrapped individually. Uh, and then each one of those holes that we drilled have been filled with Lexel, which is a waterproof sealant to keep out the elements. And then we ran our wiring right there along the side and tried to put, tried to put it as neat and tidy in the corner as we could. Uh, and that plug that you see there is actually our 20 amp converter. Uh, since all of our lights are 12 volt and there was no access to 12 volt back here in the trailer, we actually had to use his uh, 110 outlet there. And so we use our 20 amp converter, which converts that 12 amp or 12 volt, excuse me, to 110 volt. Uh, now, as you can see, we got the two controller modules as well as the converter. On the left is our, our uh, super series controller that is operating the windows, uh, the 18 feet of windows. The middle controller there is our dual zone controller that is operating the top as well as the underglow. And then on the right there is that 20 amp converter I was just telling you about. Um, so all the wiring is brought back up into there. And then you'll see the little pieces of tape right there that cover uh, what are our push buttons that actually go down to the other side here. So they have these cool little push buttons. So as they press them, it shuts off that window completely now. So the customers will know just to come into here and now if you turn these lights on, they will actually always come on to a bright white. So when they're serving, this is probably going to be the color that they're mainly going to have here. But that gives them the option to be able to turn off the window that they're not serving from for that day. So that was a, a, a unique uh, custom ask from the customer here that we were able to make happen. That actually really does add quite a bit of value and, and uh, coolness factor to the application. Um, but so that is about everything. This has been our, our custom 20-foot food trailer installation uh, for our friends, the Bearded Swine. This was all done in-house in Florence, Kentucky at Boogie Lights. Give us a call and get lit up today.